Welcome to PC Couch Gamer, I'm your host, the Internet's Buzz Stringer, and if you simply cannot wait to get started with PC gaming in the living room, we can get you set up in under five minutes. This is the quick and easy guide to getting started with PC gaming in the living room. And whilst I am working on a guide to build the ultimate home theatre gaming PC, this should definitely fill the void for now. The most obvious solution is to put your gaming PC in the living room, connect an HDMI cable to your TV, load up Steam, go to settings, then interface, tick Steam, run Steam when my computer starts, and tick Steam, start Steam in big picture mode. Make sure you have a controller or keyboard and mouse connected and whenever you start your PC, Steam will now load in a nice big living room UI. As with all gaming devices, uh, set your TV to game mode if it has it, which will turn off most of the TV's image processing and reduce the input lag. The second way is to use Steam Link. I don't have one with me right now, but the beauty of Steam is that you can use any PC or laptop uh, with an HDMI and use that as a Steam Link device, so you can keep your PC where it is and just follow the same steps as before. Now of course there are some caveats with Steam Link. First, you cannot use your PC while streaming a game. Steam sends the entire video stream of the whole display, but hopefully they'll be able to change that in the future. The maximum resolution I could achieve was around 768. It definitely wasn't 1080p, but hopefully again that will improve in time as well. Also, you have to ensure that at least one device, either the PC or whatever you're using as a Steam Link, is connected to the router via Ethernet. I have the main PC connected via Ethernet and the laptop on 5GHz AC Wi-Fi, and that held up really well with almost unnoticeable lag. And whilst playing Doom for this test, it, the FPS held rock solid at 60 FPS. However, I'm not sure if it's a bug with Steam Big Screen or my machine, but when I launched the game from Big Picture Mode via the laptop, instead of getting 60 FPS, it was dropping to 30 and below 20 and 15, sometimes making it unplayable. But when launched from a desktop client, it ran fine at 60 FPS. Hopefully, that's just a little bug with my machine and you won't have that issue. <laughs> So this was the quick and easy way to get started with PC gaming in the living room. I will have an ultimate home theatre gaming PC build guide coming soon, but that will take a little bit more time. And until then, I'll see you next time. I don't like that. Uh, so this is the... So this was the quick and easy guide to getting started with gaming PC. Yeah,